Here we are. I have probably about 15 hours into degreasing these brakes. I finally started scuffing the fronts just a little bit because they do have the factory, like, I don't even know what to call this paint. I don't know if there's actually a name for it. Let me know. But I forgot I have to take these pins out and pull this bolt out from this way um, just to take all this out. So when I do paint them, um, I'm not going to be over spraying on any piece of the metal so I don't have trouble uh, replacing the pads when I replace the pads on this car or the rotors. Um, so I'm going to do this 100%, show you guys exactly how to do it for your car. Yet, I have the benefit, um, the car's on the lift. I have that, thank God. Um, you can still do this on the ground. It's easily doable on the ground. Just need some jack stands so you can get at least some somewhat of leverage so you're not pretty much laying on the ground. This is the primer I'm using. They didn't have the exact primer um, that like it said it was for the uh, brake calibers. So it says flame proof primer. 1300 degrees to 2000 degrees. That's perfect. This is exactly what you need. So after I scuff everything, after I scuff them down, I got 320 mil grit um, sandpaper. I also got this brush, like a metal brush. Everyone was telling me to use this, but I don't think so. I think it's gonna like leave too deep of grooves into it. I'm gonna see as much as I can get off my hand just with this grit. See where we get, and if I have to use this, I'll use that. I don't have any power tools to like sand the brakes down completely to bare metal. So we're working kind of like with just generic stuff you're gonna have in the garage. All this plastic is just trash bags. I honestly just cut them up, ripped them in half, and I got a whole bunch of painter's tape. The front over there is the same. It's been a little too humid to paint. I was looking at some of the best temperatures that they were saying um, to spray paint on the car. It's better when it's cooler. The other day when it rained, it might be, do it might be good to do it on a rainy day. I don't know, haven't read anything if it's rain, might be too much moisture in the air, but the car's in the garage anyway, so I'm gonna have a fan like recirculating air in here through one of the side windows of the garage. Just keep bringing in fresh air left and right, and um, hopefully it takes like, hopefully they cure fast, um, because I know it's in the garage and there's a lot of stagnant air. They said it takes a lot longer to cure. I don't know, first time painting brakes, so we're gonna go at it, we're gonna try to do everything the right way. And we're gonna see how they turn out. The paint that I ordered um, for them hasn't arrived yet, so I'm gonna keep that a little bit of surprise. It's nothing gonna be crazy, guys, honestly. It's more of like a classic look. Like, it, it's super clean look. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna turn out awesome. I'm gonna like it. I'm sure you guys will. Um, I wanted to do something crazy, but every time I was asking and trying to find the right color, I wanted to match all the stuff that I have. It's, it was way too much. I'm just going to be straight up front. I wanted to do bronze. I looked through so many different bronze, um, like Brumbo emblem colors, like not emblem colors. You guys know what I mean, the stickers. The Brumbo stickers, I tried to get something because I was going to do gloss black with the Brumbo or even white, Oxford white, and then um, bronze with the Brumbo. But everything I found doesn't match this. It doesn't match my, my bronze or my gold, you could say, like it would or like I wanted to. So... We're changing it up. I'm just gonna tell y'all, it is gloss black with white Brumbo lettering. I think it's gonna be good. It's not gonna be overdone. I want. I really wanted to do the Italian flag, green, white, and red, but I was gonna be like, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to do. So we're gonna keep it kind of classic, and after I like kind of decided and talked over with everyone, this is exactly what I have on the Fox body. Gloss black, white Brumbo with the bronze wheels. So you know how it's gonna look, it's gonna look good. It's, I mean, I didn't even think of it. It's matching the Fox. Um, we're gonna get everything done today. First step, we're gonna take these off. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I gotta do it. And then I'm gonna pick up the camera and show you guys step by step how to. So let's get into it. This was in there like that. These two pins, one was at the top, one was in the bottom. One was up here and one was down there. Take your time, it's not hard. It looks more complicated than it really is, believe me. I overthink stuff when I look at it, like I'm not very mechanically friendly. I'm decent, but like I look at this stuff and I'm like, hell no, because I'm just the type of person that doesn't want to mess anything up. So just take your time, guys, don't worry. Um, just push this piece of metal piece down as you remove the bottom pin, and then it'll loosen up, and then the top will slide right out like no one, like just like perfect. It'll slide perfect out. And then I believe I used a 13 mil. This is the bolt that goes in the middle, straight through like this. Loosen it up and then you pull it out towards you. And that's pretty much it. I forgot that I had to do that. So now, after that, I'm gonna have to go retape everything up in here. Um, probably seal up these holes so no paint gets through in there. I figured I'm this deep in, guys. I might as well do it 100% and make it look 
absolutely perfect because I don't plan on doing this again for a long time unless they're getting powder coated and they're coming completely off the car. And if I'm doing that, I'm probably gonna buy a bigger caliber. I might buy a, like a GT500 caliber because they are a lot bigger. But for now, this is how it's gonna be. And so now after this, I'm just gonna have to sand these down as much as I can, get it down to bare metal, brake clean everything on here, brake clean as much as I can, and then tape everything back up and get it ready prepped for paint. I went through three of these scrape pads, the metal scrub brush, and I, Ford's paint for it is honestly really good. The edges came off no problem. They came off within the first like 30 seconds, no joke. But the Brumbo, all back here. You mainly, when you're doing this, you wanna get everything that people can see. Obviously, you wanna get the back too, but if you wanna just focus mainly on the front, that's the majority of it. Um, just to show you guys the difference, I'm gonna to go to the other side and show you right now. Look at the color difference. I mean, the stock color isn't bad, but to me, I don't know if I'm colorblind, it looks like a navy blue. Straight up looks like a navy blue. And like the front face of it was super, super smooth. It's got a little rough um, texture to it now. It's still kind of smooth, but not as good as this one. Um, you want it a little rough from what I read. So when the, when the metal, uh, the surface of the metal is a little bit rough, when you spray the paint, the paint has actually something to grab onto when it's curing. So in case of an impact, rock chip, or anything like that, the paint's not gonna flake off right away. It's gonna at least have something to grab onto. But if I just go ahead and paint everything over this as is, the paint's trying to lay on a smooth surface, and it's obviously gonna chip off, fade off, gets too hot, it's gonna flake right off. Plus, after the brake cleaner, I'm gonna spray everything down with some water, wipe it, let it air dry, might put the fan on it. Then after that, what I read, you need to take an alcohol wipe and wipe every little nook and cranny, let it sit, let it dry, and then after that, it should be ready for paint. I can't tell you how much time I spent sanding these down. I'm, I'm honestly, I feel okay with it. I feel like this is what everyone could probably get at home doing it themselves. Just with some regular grit sandpaper, nothing crazy. Just go at it by hand and that's what you get. Same thing goes on the other side. I mean, I used all these, used this grit brush. I mean, that too went at it. I was absolutely killing it. But to jump over to the rear, the rears got done too, brake cleaned. And oh, also I forgot to tell you guys, I rubbed everything down with alcohol. Alcohol, I guess, just does something with the metal. I don't know. I saw it online. I was like, why not? I'll do it too. And actually, my buddy Ali told me about it. So, Ali, thank you. But the fronts are drying right now. They're still a little damp. The rears were done. They already got hit with the primer. So, this is the primer one. I put a light coat, pretty light. I try not to have any runs anywhere. I try to hit every possible spot, taped it up the best I could. So probably just for today, I'm gonna tape up the front again, um, cover everything up as much possible, let it hit with one coat of primer, let it cure all night. It's about 10 o'clock right now. We're gonna let it cure for more than 24 hours. Um, the paint that I ordered isn't even here yet. I still need to go pick up the Brumbo stickers. So I'm in honestly no rush. This was a little project I wanted to do, get done, show you guys how I'm doing it. And it's um it's turning out pretty good so far. Fingers crossed, I don't see any paint runs with the primer. I don't think the primer even really matters. If I see any paint runs when it comes morning time or anything, I mean, it's, it's dry now, but in case I miss anything, I'll probably sand it just a little bit and then re-primer re it and then just have to wait some more time. Just because I've taken a lot of time with this and I wanna make sure it turns out 100%. And I want to make sure it looks good when the Rohanas are on and you see and I want everything to shine front to back. I like I no joke guys. I went underneath the car. I got every little crack possible. It's about like five days later. It just got done raining. The humidity is finally down to where it's like good enough to spray a coat on. The paint finally came in and I don't know if I ordered it wrong. But they sent me a lot of cans. I thought it was like $50 per can because I went to like five different stores trying to find it and no one had it i called everywhere so i figured it was just a high demand it was extremely expensive well if anyone needs paint i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i got 12 cans of caliber paint so it looks like everything is going to get sprayed with some caliber paint i don't think i'll probably even use two cans two cans i figure is right all i'll use um for multiple coats on the whole car but also I finally picked up the Brumbo stickers. These were for my boy Ollie. He had gloss black ones and I'm going with white ones to match the Fox. They do look kind of small, um, like printout, but they're actually the same size as the regular ones. They're about four inch and like a quarter. 
screwed just like that. Won't look too bad. I put at least two coats on the front. Mind you, this is not like a final finish. Um, it still has to get like three coats of clear, uh, gloss clear on top of this and probably another two more coats of the satin black or whatever black this is called all over it again top to bottom so gonna let this dry overnight day 236 of doing breaks and i finally put a few coats of clear on it this is about the second coat um as of right now i plan on putting i don't know why there's like if you guys can see that there's like some rough spots on it i don't know this has kind of been driving me crazy i just want them done i'm gonna get them done they're not turning out the best i mean the front looks good don't get me wrong the front looks good it feels glossy but I don't know why, the back still feels rough. Like I put so much, like I probably put like 15, 20 coats of black, I swear to God, on it every day because it was so humid. I would spray a little bit, go back, come back, spray a little bit just so it could dry and I was hitting every area like back to back to back. But I need to put the stickers on. Car's gonna be nice this weekend. I want the car for the 4th of July. So we're gonna put the stickers on and after we put the stickers on, we're gonna throw a couple more coats of clear on it. it it's looking glossy already. like. I don't know how it's going to show on camera for you guys, but it's, it's looking pretty good from afar. It's like a maybe five, six footer, nothing crazy. I feel like after I do this, I'm going to wait probably till winter, take them off the car, put the car on the lift like it is, and take them to Dylan and get them powder coated um, the right way. Because this is turning out like, I don't want to say bad. It's good. Like, don't get me wrong. It, it, they look great, but just my level of OCD is so bad. Like you can see, I mean, it's not horrible for just spray paint out of a can pretty much. But my OCD is too bad. So I just did a little measuring. It's about two and a quarter from what I got from the top part of the brake to the piece of tape and about two and a half to two to a quarter right there. And I got one of my stickers just to see how it looks. I have to say, I think that's dead on the money. I think I could have went with a little big of a bigger of a sticker. So what I measured was four inches. It was like four and a quarter was the actual size of it. But I just feel like these stickers are so small. I don't know. I feel like I don't I have no clue, guys. And this is the exact size sticker, but I just feel like the font might be different. I mean, not the font. I don't know. I just feel like they were more bolder is the way to put it, because I feel like the other Brumbo went up to here and I feel like it went down here. But I, I was like, it, it wouldn't have curved, obviously, but I have no clue. We're about to slap this sticker on right here. I got this one ready to rock and she's lined up. So let's see how it goes. Oh baby, that looks so good. I don't know what this white line is there. That was probably just an extra cut. That looks pretty good. I like the black and the white. That is fresh. I am dying to have this car off and turn it on again because it's been covered in plastic probably for about two weeks now. We had a full week when it was like over 100 degrees every single day and it killed me because I wanted to get this done quick and knock it out, but I know it's not something quick just to get done and rush. I kind of wish I did this in the winter time just to make more videos because this is definitely not a summertime job because obviously the air quality is not the best for painting, but we got it done. It looks good. Officially done. We ripped all the plastic off and I just installed this side, actually the metal pieces and the two pins turned out way better than I was expecting guys. I'm super happy the way it turned out, covered everything up pretty good with just the regular painters tape and I'm happy. I can't wait to get the wheels on. I wanted to go for a drive, but just got done absolutely monsooning. Sure, the road should be dry maybe in like an hour or two. Take one it, test the brakes out. Haven't drove the car in probably about two weeks now. That just looks so good. Kind of matching the Fox. That is the perfect color combo. What do you think, meat, huh? I mean, the color combo's sick. I wouldn't, honestly guys, I really wanna do something crazy, but I just didn't think it was gonna look good. Like I had to do something subtle just to match, like kind of with the, the green, white, and red with the Italian flag. So I couldn't go overdoing it, so I needed something to match. So I was like, you know, it's got the white, car's white, gloss black. I mean, I got a lot of gloss black accents. I even thought about going red just to match with the 5.0 emblem, but I'm probably going to change that, put change that to a different color. So maybe white, maybe get some like white little sticker put in there. I don't know. I'm still feeling that out. Definitely going to change that or get some like those coyote head emblems. I actually do like those a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Road to 100K. And if you guys don't see this before July 4th, most likely after because July 4th is tomorrow. No shot. I'm going to post it on a holiday weekend. Thank you guys for watching. God bless America. God bless you guys. I hope you guys had an awesome weekend with July 4th. Make sure you guys thank every veteran you know because without them, we wouldn't be here today. Without the police, without anyone. So make sure you guys give thanks to those who serve the country. And God bless, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Road to 100K, baby. Peace.